<laughs> Excuse me. You guys, Phoenix totally locked me out. What? It is freaking hot out here. I'm ready to go inside, change, drink some water. He said he was gonna run to the store and he literally locked me out. I can't get mad though. It's beautiful out here. Oh my goodness, finally. You crazy goose. Did you even get anything? You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. It's hot out there. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a morning routine. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do every single morning, how I get ready and what products I use and all of that. We are currently in Lake Garda, Italy. I thought this would be the perfect place to show you guys my morning routine just so we could have a different background. You guys, it's lovely out here, but that doesn't mean that my morning routine changes. I try and stick to my morning routine literally every single day. So before we continue, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below right now. Also make sure you click that little notification bell button. It's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram at Natalie Raya, that's how you can find me. Good morning guys, it is 9.20 and I am going to show you guys how I get ready every single day. This is basically my morning routine. I showered last night and didn't wash my hair so what we're going to do right now is put it in a hair tie and get started. Okay, so my morning routine doesn't really change. The first thing that I start off is by washing my face and I use this gel cleanser. This is by Avino. I'm going to insert another Avino product that I was using for many, many years. But since moving to Germany, I haven't been able to find it here. So I always have someone <laughs> send them out to me. But right now I ran out. So I am trying this new one right here. And this works so freaking well. I love it just as much as my old one. When I ran out from that one, I was like, what am I going to do? So I went to the store and I picked up another Reno product, which is a foam. And I'll also insert it here. And that one I didn't like. It smelled like chemicals. Um, I just wasn't living for it. For now, this is what we're going to start off with. So I am going to wash my face. What I love about this is that you don't even need an entire full pump. Just like half a pump. And that's pretty much all I need. I actually do start off with a little bit of water. And then I just go in and wash my face because I do have an oily face. When I wake up, my face tends to be like super oily and I just feel kind of gross. So if I don't wash my face, then I just won't feel fresh. So... I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am a little rough on my face. I know people take their time to dry it out. I really don't. I just go in with a towel and literally do this, especially on my edges, because I wanna get that water out of my face as soon as possible instead of taking my sweet time. So next up, I'm actually going to be using this new product. This is the Mix Easy Face Scrub. I have actually been using this for four weeks. I wanna say four weeks. I wanted to give this product a try before I recommended it to you guys. So this is by Mix Easy and this is the face scrub. Mix Easy lets you customize your own products for whether it's hair or face and you can add whatever ingredients you want and the best part about them is that they're all fresh. So I went ahead and picked out a face scrub. This smells so freaking good you guys know that my husband likes to try all of my makeup products why i don't know like if i have a makeup palette laying out in the counter he will literally go and open it and like stick his tongue in it which is so weird and that's probably tmi but i feel like he has also tried this because i feel like he said something about it and i was like oh yeah it's totally good like sometimes i'll lick my lips and i'm like loving it so what i'm gonna do is put a little bit of this product all over my face. I usually do like these five sections. Um, this pretty much works as an exfoliator. It's something that you don't have to do every single day. So I actually only do this like three times a week. It's recommended to do it like two to three times a week. I do it three times a week, sometimes four. It just makes myself feel better knowing that my face is fully clean. I love doing this one in the nighttime and every now and then I'll do it in the morning. Right now, obviously we're doing it in the morning. I really try and get like in here by my nose and then this part right here because for some reason 
every time I remove my makeup, sometimes I'll look really close in the mirror and I'll see like a little something right here. And I'm sure we all have like those spots where we kind of miss all the time. So this is one of them and then right here. So I basically just do this to my face until all the little sugar has dissolved. I'm doing the lips. And then we're gonna wash it off. Something that I like to do is use a towel for my lips. Pretty much get rid of all the dead skin. And then my face just feels freaking fresh. The next thing that I like to use is this eye cream. So I am about to be 27 and I have noticed the wrinkles coming in. So I've been using this eye cream. This right here is probably my favorite thing. I use this twice a day in the morning and in the nighttime. So I basically just use a small little pump. Let me show you guys how much I use. Can you guys see that? This is enough for both eyes. So I'll go once and then once over here. And then I'll just lightly rub it in under my eyes. And then I am all set. I love that you could create your own formula. You also do have the option to add fragrance. So if you're someone who doesn't like the smell of products, then you pretty much just do the no fragrance one. I added a fragrance to both of these. Just depends on your preference, what you like and what you don't like. But both of these products have been working so good for me. I mean, I even brought them to Italy. So now let's continue this morning routine. One of the products that has been a must for me is this tongue scraper. And I'm sure you guys have all seen this all over TikTok. TikTok made me buy it. This I actually use a lot, maybe three times a day in the morning, in the nighttime, and somewhere in between, especially if I'm having coffee, just to get rid of all of that from my tongue. I am thinking we're just gonna change the pace right now and go outside. Brought my makeup bag outside. We're just gonna be doing our makeup out here while I enjoy this view. We're outside, outside enjoying this view. The first thing that I'm gonna do is use my Aveeno daily moisturizer no this is not sponsored i've actually been using avino products for such a long time already so this right here has spf 30 and even though i'm not out in the sun every single day i still use it every single day let's spread this out i also like to let this sit down for a little bit before i actually go and start applying some foundation for my foundation right now, I am using this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. It's a pretty good one. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna put some concealer. I believe this is Maybelline. This is the instant eraser. I've been using this pretty much since high school, so I'm just going to go and highlight all of these areas right here. I probably use way too much, but it's fine. <laughs> After the concealer, I've been using this Tarte. I believe this is like by the sea or something. This has everything that I need. So I like to take this little pink shade and then tap into this little bronzer color, which is my favorite. I'm gonna put this on the nose and this works as my nose contour. For the eyes, I'm also using the little blush pink shade and I'm just gonna go lightly over the crease line. Boom, moving on to the eyebrows. I like to comb them first, obviously. Get all the hairs in all the right places. And then I go in with this brown marker. That's what I'm calling it. It's a liquid eyeliner and this is by, I don't even know. I wanna say this is Revlon. So I only go in with a few strokes right here.
the marker is a little bit dry and then I'll do some right here for my highlight I bring a small little brush and then I just go in with this guy right here as you could tell I use a lot of highlighter I'll put some on the nose even though my mask tends to remove it right away it's the first thing that goes away Starting to get hot out here. The last thing that I'm doing is my eyelashes and I am using this waterproof mascara. This is by Sephora and I absolutely love it. This is the size up volume extra large waterproof mascara so the first thing that i do is actually curl my eyelashes one time i'm gonna tell you one time oh my goodness last night there was a <laughs> a little sean mendes singing with his guitar to all of these like beautiful songs like by sean mendes um justin bieber so it was very very nice so it was a good night I got some on my lid. I think I'm actually more shocked when I don't get it on my lid than when I do just because it literally happens like every single time. Just gave my eyelashes some time to dry. I am gonna go ahead and clean out the... Make sure you always clean it out. You don't want that junk in there because that's what causes your eyelashes to stick to it. And then when you pull, it pulls your eyelashes. So make sure you clean the up. I'm gonna curl them one last time. And this one is gonna be for a little bit longer. I usually count, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 release and look do you guys do you guys see my eyelashes and that's about it i am gonna clean out my lips i'll put on some vaseline and call it a day now it's time for me to get ready but i am gonna end today's video right here i do want to give out a shout out and today's shout out goes out to Haley jade alvarez shout out to you Haley. and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything your big ol' heart desires. I love you guys all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the Raya family. And I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Everywhere.